changing out the regular old light bulbs to LEDs. These guys. So, let's use the for this direction. Lift the tab up a little bit. Push it down. That comes out. See? Bob. Next up, you get in the new one out of its baggie. I'll just show them off quick. Here they are. Three pack. Got them off of Amazon. Link below. So. What happens with these is that if you don't have the battery in it or if you have it plugged into a charger, you might blow your bulbs, which is a common thing that happens with these. So I'm going to show you how to change out your bulbs today with the new LEDs. I just got in the mail today from Amazon. They're 80 watt premium automotive a LED lightning. And they have a lot brighter lumens. I think can't remember how many watt how many lumens they are. Doesn't really say. But I thought well, I thought there were eight thousand lumens over here. Six to eight, six to seven thousand. So, we'll get started here. So first of all, we're gonna want to take a, push this little lever, oh, and then pop that off. So now this cable's free. I turn that to the right and pop it out. And then, light bulb. Let's see if we can get this out. Mine facing down. So, trying to do this through the camera. It's not exactly easy. Turns out I'm probably going to need my drill because the hole in the hole of the diameter is much larger than the other. Show here. But it should fit. So, I'm going to check the cable first before I go and get a drill. Let's come back and do it another time. Pause it for a second. So it did click in nicely. I'm gonna fire up the machine and see how that looks. Don't have to start if I'm going to. next time and stick the new light bulbs in so let's call it successful hopefully you like this video please like and subscribe I'll be back with drill bits and what I'm gonna have to do is undo this nut here get that out make the hole bigger on the back side anyways you get it We'll finish it up next time. All right, so pop this light bulb out. It's a tab, push it down, pull the connection out, turn to the right. Got the light bulbs both out. So it appears there's a metal sleeve inside there that's reflective. I got a half inch extended socket on here. 
I can be able to do this with just one one hand. But right, you'll see it. Start of it. So I'll get that loosened up. You have to spin this headlight around the other direction. Let's see to get the nut off to pull it out through here. I'll show you that once I get my other hand down here. All right, so I got the nut off. You have to spin this around and then lift it out. You can see inside there, that's metal. And then I have to get a step down bit because I don't think I'm gonna find one that fit at home big enough for that, almost guaranteed. So I saw one on Amazon for like 11 bucks, but yeah, so I'd even push that little chip of plastic forward again. So until I get the step down bit to be continued. All right, so I'm back to working on this. My step bit just came. A Nico titanium step drill bit. It goes down to like an inch and three eighths. Right up here. Yep, inch and three eighths. So quarter inch down to inch and three eighths. Works good on these. So these are my Polaris headlights. They mount like this. And you can see inside, okay, we got that metal there. So you don't want a wood one, you want a one that can cut metal. And these are the bulbs I'm putting in. And they're three quarters of an inch. So I'll have to size that as I go. I'm gonna drop these in a vise next and get to cutting and drilling. Here's my setup to get it drilled. Just gonna keep it in there pinched. See how it goes. I'm not gonna do it on camera because I don't want to mess it up. All right, so I did the drilling. As you can see, it started to get down kind of deep. So be careful of that because as you're drilling, it's already down there pretty good. So if it cuts out too much of this edge, you're not gonna be anything for these teeth to bite into. So. Luckily, I got to get down far enough. Oops, yeah, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna stick that in there today. All right, two for two. Got them both drilled out. All you gotta remember is when you're done, shake the garbage out. You're gonna be mad. But I didn't go too deep. I just got them in far enough so that they uh, snug it. I have to crank mine down really hard. I can turn a little bit more, but I almost can get them vertical, but I don't want to go too much further in case I damage the bulb. So this one I can crank down a little bit more with my hands, but they're ready to be installed. I'll show you that back when I get to the six wheeler. Pretty impressed with the step down bed. I've never owned one before. It's gonna make my life a heck of a lot easier than lots of different things. Seems like a lot of fun. A lot of them are like 20 some bucks at Home Depot. That seemed pretty ridiculous since I was just doing that, putting little bits of metal in those headlights, but see how long this one lasts. 22,000 good reviews, I think. So like 12.99 total. Shit, came the next day. Pretty awesome. All right, back again at the ATV. So you just walk up, put your light in backwards. Without dropping it. One handed. Try to get that pin down in that hole. There you go. Hook this cable up. Try to do it well. I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand. But um just plug that in there. Get your nut in your washer. Half inch socket, get it tightened down. So I got the cable clipped on there. The nut and the washer started. I need two hands to finish, but to start. A little too tight, so I'll loosen that up in a minute. 
keep the other one installed. All right, both lights mounted, bulbs installed, cables connected. Do this on any older ATV. So what she looks like on power. Here we go. There's the lights. Some bright LEDs. That's crazy compared to the old incandescent bulb on top. Wish I could do it at the same time. I'll try. Reach. In here in person, they're a lot brighter. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Took a few times to get it right, but I think this is pretty sweet having LED bulbs. And a 1999 Polaris 6x6 500 Big Boss. A lot of work into this machine but i think it's all turning out pretty sweet like it a lot works really well all these leds a lot brighter than these old old ones get the part numbers off there if you need them two three zero or dm eight one nine six maybe has nothing but yeah you need that little fin in the middle two prongs that's what these ones had like I said like and subscribe it's been great for all those 500s 400s 300s 350s 400 L's other 4x4s, 6x6s, scramblers, trailblazers, all of them with those square headlights. It's a good fix instead of having to cut and rewire those new LED block lights. I don't really like those myself. I'd rather have just this bulb. That's I prefer it. I like the look of these old. Keep it all looking original. Well, it's not too terribly dark in here because of these skylights, but you can kind of go look at how much light it pulls off. <laughs>